Wow. Good evening. And uh, all the middle school faculty members and uh, parents, welcome to our annual citywide instrumental concert. There's a thousand kids rolling around here. And this has not been a good We've had Several lost mouthpieces, lost music, lost parents, and just French horn just broke to straighten it out. So Mr. Cardell's there trying to fix it, and we have it mixed up with all my students who thought it was tomorrow night, and then she put book work for tonight, and I'm going all over the place looking for them, and uh, we're going to be not signing as well as I thought we were going to sign. So, not going very well, but we're going to do the best we can. Um, we do this every single year, basically, for the kids to kind of get a, an, an opportunity to come up here, and uh, I was told by Mr. Cadell to just kind of talk a little bit. Uh, I don't have any good jokes that I can give you at the moment, but uh, I can give you some information which would be wonderful for you. Um, if we're in, if someone, for all you people who know who I am, uh, my name is Ben Macrino. I run the program as well as the citywide program here, including the high school band, which I'm sure you, uh, if you read the Globe, and uh, you saw you were here at last Wednesday night, actually, we had a concert here with a commissioned piece by a, a composer from New York, an award-winning composer from New York called Brockton. Uh, if you missed it, um, for those people that have been living in the city, you know, and, know, and been associated with the city as long as there's a lot of people have, it was a beautiful, beautiful work describing the history of, uh, of Brockton. And the kids got an opportunity to actually commission a world piece that eventually, it's, it's on a working thing right now, and it'll be out there, and once it's published, it will say right on top, commissioned by the Brockton High School win on which is which is pretty fascinating. And what a great experience. And this weekend, we had a wonderful experience. Some parents talked to me about kids in the band and so on. Listen, here's the deal. Band kids are the best. Band kids are loved by great colleges. And that's a word that was given to me the year that we played for all the admission offices in Boston one year, and they were all giving out cards. And I said, what is with all this? I said, and the lady that ran the situation said, good college, loved band kids. Music is an incredible art. It is so connected to developing a brain and study that we haven't figured this out yet. Other countries have, but we have not figured out in our school system. In America, we cut. In the Asian country, they add. It's unbelievable. So, here's what, what, here's what the deal is. The kids are coming up here, going to probably one of the best schools in the country. I know people have all these football ideas and so on, but here's my idea. If you want to get yourself in trouble, you can get yourself in trouble any place. But in my clarinet section today, you're going to see the young lady who just got a full boat to Harvard University. So. What I'm trying to say is, and I've been here for 45, 46 years. I've never went any place. I did my student teaching, and I've stayed here since then, become director. And I probably, that's my family right now. Um, I've been asked to go, through all my years, I've been asked to go and perform, including Boston College. 20 years ago, called me up and wanted me to go do the bands and, and, do, and do their jazz and so on. And I said, no. Um, I have seen this school put out some incredible students. You look at all the kids who go to Harvard, have gone to MIT, or any of the top schools, they're all been in this band. Yes, it's a testament to this. There is no question about it. What's the secret of having a, a student come here? Number one, you've got to stay on them, which a lot of parents are not these days. Take my word for it, take your little phones and throw it away because they are creating a mess to the kids, to the students, to the, to the school. All the problems now are based on those stupid little things because they're spending more time with those things than they at home. And that's not their fault, it's the parents' fault. Take those things away from them. It is creating an atmosphere that's totally insane. Okay? And I've been saying this, I've been saying it for a long time. But, and then the other important thing is, look, yes, 
You get great academics here. There is no question about it, has been proven. Last year, we also had a flu player from the, from the went to Harvard University, and she wasn't banned. One year, we had three oboe players that went to Ben. One year, we had a young lady that actually Harvard took at her, who was number three in the class, because she was an excellent French horn player. So she got accepted, not the person that was number one, because they needed her to play with the, Radcliffe, the Harvard Radcliffe Orchestra, but she was a good player. So you see, there's a lot of ties into music into that. So then the other thing is, when the child comes up here and they perform with a halftime show, a concert band, and you have an opportunity to take a trip like we did this year, took 75 of the top students, and you'll hear them tonight, um, all by auditions, they all have to audition for this, Four days spending time with their kids, going all over Washington, D.C., performing, competing, having fun together. It's a memory for a lifetime. They say that an education in music is an education for life. I didn't mention that. I just read it. And the other thing, as I said, when your child comes up here, it automatically has a lot of friends, real friends, not fake, you know, Facebook friends. Real friends. You perform at a halftime show, there's 150 kids involved in that. From seniors down to ninth graders, and it's socially, it's a great experience for them. Now for those parents who are kind of a, well, I don't know, I'm not sure. I gave you plenty of examples, you'll see. Everyone in that events concert band is in the honor roll, half of them in the National Honor Society. That's who your kids are going to be hanging around with, and that's the secret. You are who your friends are. That's all it comes down to. And I've seen this since day one up here. So, if you can push them, keep them there, uh, at least let them give it, a, give it a shot here. I guarantee you that if your child's not doing well, once we get through with them, and like one lady said to me the other night in our boosters club, she says, what have you done to him? I said, what do you mean, what did I do to him? To him? He says, all of a sudden he's practicing. And I don't even have to tell him. Well, I said, that's because he wants to go on the trip. And, and, and he started in September, and all of a sudden, this kid did, number one, never said a word. Three, two years, I hadn't got any idea what this kid sounded like. Always by himself, very quiet and so on. In the bus, I couldn't shut him up. Because <laughs> he kept on talking, on and on. And he was actually one night, his mother was worried about it. I walked by some place, we were at the Hot Rock Cafe, and he's sitting there with five young ladies. I said, you are devil you, I said. <laughs> and don't tell my mother, he said. <laughs> yes, I will tell your mother. All of a sudden, it just, they come out of their shell because that's a great, friendly place, and that's what you want the kids to do. The secret to a big place like this is once they get their social thing set up, you'll change everything, especially those kids, they're all shy, and, and I said, I've seen it. Trust me, I have seen it. Dr. Erica Rubin, graduate 1974, was a young man that he had graduated from Brown High School, who was the uh, Century 500, that, that magazine, one of the top, top businessmen in this country, about 10, 15 years ago. He's a surgeon. He would not say anything. He wouldn't even go outside by himself until he got into the jazz ensemble. By the way, Dr. Eric Rubin, Rubin looks like Woody Allen. If you know what Woody Allen looks like, he looks just like him, but it's as brilliant as if he kind of owns a... Uh, he, he developed some kind of a step from here to here, medicine-wise, and um, he was one of those... He said to me, Mr. McCrina, the band was my savior at Brockton High School. This was like 1974. So I'm trying to wait until how long it is, because I don't know how long I can talk to you people out here. Um, but again, um, it, the other thing too is, if your child is playing, we try to make sure, push them and try to. They take private lessons. Private lessons will help a great deal. How do you make the honor groups and the win ensemble? Well, you gotta be the best player. You're gonna see all these ninth, eight, all these eighth graders here, and all these eighth graders over there, so on. They're all gonna be funneling up to Broughton High School, so if your child still after the eighth grade has a, hasn't got a clue which end to blow the instrument, we got a problem, okay? So private lessons will help. There's no question about it. 
Okay? Uh, anytime you have any questions, make sure you talk to your teacher. You can certainly walk them to call out. Don't forget some of the things we come up. If you've never seen a concert, the best way to do it is to come up and see the concert. You're going to hear our kids play but they, tonight. They've, they've, had, they've been walking around all over Washington for four days and they're kind of totally exhausted. And they told them, don't forget, we have the concert uh, this evening. Check it out. We have a musical coming up, 9 to 5. And we also have the Pops concert on the 23rd, right up here, would be the two choruses and the two bands performing. And we're all going to have the guest artist. His name is Chris Medalla, for those people that are old enough to remember Chuck Mangione. He is what, he's the gentleman that recorded all with him. And how good is he? When Barbara Streisand shows up in Washington, he's in the pit. That's how good he is. So come on up and, and, and check it out uh, and, and see what's going on. Um, Anyway, do you all set? Oh! Well, I'm here I am running out of things to say. Which, that never happens, okay. Well, anyway, I hope I, I was trying to, you all set now? Okay, listen, enjoy the performance, and we're going to move right one after the other. And seriously, don't make any decision best on, on, on the, some of the stuff you hear around here because it's, you remember, we are a society now that one person does something stupid and we blame everybody. Okay? Just worry about that one person. Because there are 4,300 kids in this place. There's more kids in here than the town of Avon. Okay? <laughs> Out of those here, there's a lot of great kids and a lot of great students running around and they're just going to Okay? All right. So, we start out, um, <coughs> I left everything in, inside there. So the first school performing is the Plouffe, just the Plouffe School under Mr. Condell, and here we go. Sorry, that was my fault. I was fixing your French horn.
This is the uh, Brock, this is the Brockton High School uh, Advanced Concert Band. Uh, jazz Ensemble, sorry. So many things going on. Uh, this is an audition group. Every single year we audition for this, and I'm very, very, very proud that for years and years we have uh, produced some great players here, and by the way, some great players playing out there in the world uh, from uh, uh, from this ensemble. Very proud of what uh, what the foundation that this has given. So this past week we competed at the Music Festival in Washington, and the Bronx High School Jazz Ensemble piece was saved to the first prize. Uh, So, we'd like to do uh, the two uh, numbers that, um, that uh, we did for the, for the festival. Uh, one is called Madrid, a nice Latin uh, uh, piece, and the other one we, would, we did was Lazy River, uh, Lazy River which, is, which is actually based on the song Up a Lazy River, and we featured a little Dixieland group in that, which actually won the best on, uh, on a small ensemble, or soloist, uh, out of the out of the whole group. So hope you enjoy these two pieces. And for you young students, this is for to show you that when you get up here, these are called professional charts. These are not really simple stuff. They call that's what you in order to win first place, you have to play high end stuff, and that's what these students are doing. So practice, practice, practice if you want to do this in part. And I'm sure that if they all talk about how wonderful it was this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah.
Michael, Ryan Shaw, drum roll, Ryan. Yeah. 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 And uh, once again, the foundation of this uh, great organization, this great school system right here, Brian, is going to be performing, going to, uh, uh, to be a performer, and was the award of $40,000 scholarship at BU. <laughs> and remember, as I tell you, the, the thing about two is you don't have to go to some of the big schools and perform, because sometimes if you play in the band, um, they'll give you money, especially if you play rare instruments. Rare instruments, trombone, and trombones, especially low brass tubas. Those things are not a dime a dozen. They're, we don't have a lot of those, so we're looking for it. Right now, I can, somebody wants to go to Berkeley College of Music, and he, he, and he or she's a great brass player wants to go in there, they'll get a full boat. They got a football. They don't give much scholarship for flutes and things like that, and trumpets for so many people, like that, but they will. So you guys that are playing those rare instruments, you're like gold. So we'll work on them, and we'll, we, who knows? We got a young lady that went to BC to become a, some, a scientist or something, and but they wanted to her to play the band. They gave her fifteen thousand dollars a year. She had all, and all they had to do was play the band. That's, that's not bad at all. Sure helps you all, doesn't it? Okay, so the next number we like to do is call Lazy River, <coughs> and it's going to feature <coughs> a little Dixieland out there, and I'll talk to you about it as we, uh, we go on. Okay, here we go, a little bebop.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 45K. Phil! Yeah, sorry, cool. I was waiting for the best one. Thank you. Okay, we move on um, to the next group, which is South. North and Davis. Thank you. 
his group up, so I'll be the announcer. And we'd like to introduce the next group. This is the West, East, and Asheville Band, and we'll start with Mr. Fantuccio.
Is this on? This is on. All right. We have one more for our portion of the concert, um, and we'll hand it over to Mr. Macrina and the Wind Ensemble. It's my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Sarah Wheeler. say that we've been doing this for about 15 years. And tonight, uh, there's so many things we, we should be all proud of. A long time ago, a gentleman, a great trumpet player, we featured his name is Maynard Ferguson, world renowned, we had his band here, and he saw our group perform, this place was packed, literally packed. And he said, his trumpet with him, he said, you know, if the kids today had more of these in their hands, it'd be a better world, wouldn't it, he said. And this was 25, 20 years ago, he said up there. I'm watching all these kids, the amount of kids that have instruments. And what they're doing up there, working together, and they're, wow, I am, I'm speechless to the, the level that everybody played. And usually you get this little bounce over here. Um, I, I couldn't be more proud of, of a program, especially in time where we're just getting a little bit short-handed. And so I want to reach out to the teachers 
The great staff that I have, that I have here working really hard on these kids. We've lost a lot of time. <laughs> we, we lost a lot of time between testing, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how they do it. Because you know we can't pull them out of this, we can't pull them out of that, and music is one of the most difficult art to, 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 to do. So I'm so proud of what you guys did and the way you're playing. That my God, if you all show up up here, it'd be it'd be unbelievable the sound that they can be. And I hope you can come up here and experience some of the great things. So by the way, we also should mention you who started this whole thing, and you're pushing your kids, and you're pushing them in the right stuff. Did you see them all up there? Just working together, a big, huge family. And so we all try to teach the kids today. You know, we try to find what to do with the kids. This is what they want. Big, huge family like these kids working together, and we want to learn the kids how to discipline, focus, process. That's 120 kids were doing all of them all at once. And remember, one mistake in music is a failure. It's the difference between music and academics. One mistake by one of these students, and the amount of so and the amount of tunes that those kids play, they know it. What is the chance of them trying to play them all together? And they did. I didn't see any squeak, squawk, squawk, squawk coming out of there. So congratulations to all. This is probably the best sounding evening that I have had. And if you know me, I really, for time and staff members, I, you know, I, again, we, we, will, we, 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 ask, we are so lucky. So we, here's what happens. They start in the fourth grade, and then they come up here. So all these students you see up here, this is the wind ensemble, it's not the whole band. But all these students, once sat here, out here, listen, and I can tell you right now, you talk to them, it is the best decision that they've ever made. So again, I hope that I get a chance, we all know I, all of us, get a chance to continue working with your great kids. So we're going to play two tunes for you, uh, very uh, very quick. And um, one is a piece that we did also with it for, for a festival called Madrid. Um, and then the, the other one is a little, a little tribute to the genius of Leonard Bernstein, who would have been 100 years old this year.
and to celebrate a genius of the literature of the world of music. Um, shows, symphony, conductor of the New York Philharmonic, and on and on and on and on. Yeah, like I said, he would have been 100 years, and then from the Boston Symphony all over the world, they played his music. Can I just do a very short version of probably the most famous musical, West Side Story, and by Leonard Bernstein. Hope you enjoy this, and again, thank you so much for coming to see continued support of our program, how important it is, and continue pushing your kids into something that's going to be good for the rest of your life. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you.